Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely. Amazing <laughs> official Miss Jamaica. <laughs> well, go on, you know, Madel. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now, right this moment, and go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us. Put in Boss Talk Podcast 101, and all our stuff will pop up, guaranteed. But let me tell you, if you want to see our visuals, you have to hop on over to our YouTube channel. There, you'll find all the exclusive content. But we, we love your subscription, but we love your membership even more because y'all see us on the streets all the time. Like, how can we support a brand? Buy a shirt? Do what? This is how you can support the brand. Go ahead and sign up for a membership. How you do so is under each and every, every video in the description section, you will see a link that says join our membership. Click that. Takes you through all the process. Thank you in advance. And we love you. And we're going to keep making this content every day for you. Man, hey man, listen, wow. I'm so happy uh, to be here in Los Angeles. I, I got very respect. Y'all gonna enjoy this one. This one's gonna be a treat, man. <laughs> These guys right here don't need no introduction, man. I'm holding court. I'm standing <laughs> trial. See, I can say that thing. You should have right. let me do that, that's man. Right. Shout man. out to Sully Folk. <laughs> yeah, that's Sully Folk. Man, he went hard. Big yeah, Court is in yeah. the building. Yes. Rachel Renee Rachel is in Renee. the building. It's yeah. going down, man. We about to have a great time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey, before we get into that, I just want to clap. Listen, okay. The call to okay. action okay. that Mr. Okay. Mr. Okay. just did. Okay. Come on now. I need to implement some of that over in, in my shit. So. It, took, it took a while because I tried writing this stuff down and yeah. that didn't work. And I just kept saying it, saying it, adding, subtracting, and I was like, "Wow, yeah, that's impressive. That. That's impressive for people Thank to you. do this. That's impressive. Wow, you know, and it's something else to get people to just that, that membership is important now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everything's really important. People be like, well, that's right. you know, we're gonna get into a few things. Me and you got a lot to talk <laughs> that's about. Right. That's there right. are some technicalities that people are talking about over the waves, Dame mm -hmm. Dash, all type of things going on. I can mm -hmm. go any way with this interview, but right. first I'm gonna start, ladies first, you know. I'm Thank gonna let you. Miss Jamaica get in and Thank you. stir up some problems. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know, Rachel Renee. Yes. What was it like being raised by a teen father? Oh, you don't play. You get right, right into it. Get right into it. <laughs> well, I conceived her at 15. Hold on. He's like, I'm 16. But go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear her He's side. Like, don't drag me, please. <laughs> no, That's his it was um, right. No, it was um it's interesting and as I've gotten older, there's a lot of things that you don't realize until you hit certain milestones as well, but we all tease each other cuz I'm like I grew up with both of my parents, mm -hmm. you know, especially my dad like the podcast now even when he posted the Bushwick Bill picture the other day, I said, I "Man, that. Yeah. I, said, I love that." Thank I'm like, you. I got a little jealous again. And every time I see him do stuff, I'm like, "What the? Oh my God! Will you sit down?" Yeah. Yeah. Big Court is killing it, yeah, man. I be loving it. Up, my kids grew up around yes. around what I do. She used to go to the studio with me mm -hmm. uh, when I was a rapper back in the '90s. That's cool. Wow. Though. He used to write yeah. his raps like we'd mm -hmm. be in the living room, and he mm -hmm. be, "What you think it is, sir? Yep. Does that sound funny?" And you know, we every car that he has, like I've been in, passenger seat, we mobbing, yep. like every car has <laughs> wow. certain albums, certain songs, yeah. even on the way over here. I was like, oh, this is the Cutlass. Oh, this is the Chameleon. Yeah. This is you picking me up from dance school. So. Yeah. so you always looked at your dad as, as like a cool dad. Growing yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, no, he was definitely the cool dad. It was funny, especially when I was younger. People would think he was my brother. I mean, they mm. still do now. Right. But they used to think he was my brother. So when you would come to school sometimes, they'd be like, your brother's here. I'm like, who? Who has a brother? And at the time, I was like, that's nah. A fact. That's a fact. <laughs> was he strict? Was no, he's so my father is not. <laughs> so he's muscly. He's big court. But uh, he's not the disciplinarian in the house. Your so mom my was. mother is Nigerian. OK, OK. Yeah, we're both. She is not playing games. Yes. So, uh, my dad is the more laid back one. Like, hey, you know, your mom coming. Yeah. Get, get it together. You're going to get us in trouble. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think that's a lot of us, man. We yeah. all do that. No, I, you know what I think it is? It's because of girls. If it was, men are usually harder on the boys no. than the girls. How could you tell me what I'm harder on? I'm, I, I live in the same boys. house. I have two you. girls. But me and my son have secret conversations that you will never hear. That's he will never, I promise you, he won't share them with you. You didn't even know it before <laughs> I just told you today. But there's things that me and him talk about 
because of our relationship, yeah. he's not going to tell you. But that's good. Okay, I'll leave She'd that She be that. trying to, trying yeah, to get I, in. I, I, She'll I'll go let you have and that. grab him by the shirt. Hey, <laughs> tell me what your daddy be saying. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's tough, man, uh, being a father and trying to discipline a, a young lady. Yeah. Or a, your daddy's little girl. It, it's really a thing for us. Yeah. We we don't, yeah, I don't know how you do it. Well, I think, I think, I think away for me, I think because I'm, I'm an only child. Okay. And so mm-hmm. my mother, the way she disciplined me was she just talked to me. I, yeah. I really didn't get whoopings. I yeah. may have got whooped maybe once or twice in my life. So that's how I do with my kids. I just would talk. Now, I may talk slick, you know, <laughs> a little yes. bit of cuss words and some street analogies and shit. For you sure. know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I get to talking like, yeah, see, your homework is like, if I mean, you got some work in the street, right? <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I do. I do. <laughs> you know, wow. if, you some, if somebody gives you some work in the street, you got to be responsible. Be that's that's all. all I like that. Drug I've never heard yeah. that before. No, but you got I had her at 16 and I was in the street. So, so I did the best I could. I did the best I could. So, so true story. My, me and my daughter, um, when we were living in Kansas City, she would go out with me in the middle of the night, and we would plaster posters up of for my CD. Uh, so How prospect, old was she at this time? Shit, you, I was six, seven, and eight because I was. This was third, fourth, and fifth grade. This was this was up yeah. until the Kansas City Chief. Yep, six, that seven, was, eight. Now, mind you, I got two guns on me. We in the hood. And we in the middle protected. of the night. Mm-hmm. She's helping me. Well, he taught me how to shoot by then. Yeah, I did. I had taught her how to shoot. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. in his defense, I started loading clips. He did teach me gun safety. <laughs> then he taught me my way around a the gun. Then I had to watch. So he used to get these gun magazines. He would explain <laughs> everything. And then I started shooting on New Year's Eve <laughs> at Grandma Renee's house on Chestnut. Yeah. And that was the first time and you I couldn't shot. wait. Oh, I see. couldn't wait. I you couldn't itchy. wait. I had my little pajamas on. I put yeah. my little trench coat on. It <laughs> yeah. was, you know, uh, winter time. I was like, let's go. And I, when I held it up, I was holding on to him. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and we called didn't even budge. <laughs> nah, didn't that's, even. That's hood <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? When babies have babies, that's what it man. <laughs> what, what did your mama say about it? So she was just down she with was, all of it. You know, um, <laughs> did she know? <laughs> yeah, she was yeah, there. Yeah. She was oh, she was there. Yeah, this was. She got the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. So what she got with me was she got the worldly, she got the street, she got all of that rough shit. She got the education Mm -hmm. and the 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 godly the godly part of the the spiritual part from her mom. So she got so my kids were able to have a balance of both. Cause like if they came home and had issues, you know, she can tell you. (laughs) She starts laughing like her because her mother would tell her, listen, you know, Jesus would do this, walk in love, woo woo woo. And I'd allow that. He let her. And then I say, well, listen, if the bitch hits you again, if she <laughs> says something, you hit her in her motherfucking mouth, tell her to call me. Okay, tell her to call me. Yeah. She goes so talk she, to God about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's the, that, so she had to deal with that. My kids had to say, well, yes. damn, which one do I need to do? <laughs> no, hold on. There's literally, y'all, yeah. it's on my Instagram. There's a picture. We were going back to Kansas City for something. My dad has an F around and find out t-shirt. And then my mom yeah. has on a God is love. Yeah. And that's I said, a I took story. a picture. I said, I'm literally a product of this duality. Yeah. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah. people are like, oh, I just, I don't know which version of you I'm getting. Well, it depends. It depends exactly. on the day. Exactly. Wow. That's, wow. Wow. Yeah. that's live, so, man. And her mama, that influence of her mama kept me off a lot of niggas' ass. Pause. Mm. Wow. You know, having having that, you know, her reeling me back, you know, kept me out of prison. Kept a lot of niggas yeah. alive, yeah. too. Yeah. What would, okay, so you know how... When you have parents, Mm -hmm. there are certain things you go to your mom for and certain things you go to your dad (laughs) for. What wouldn't you go to your dad for? You know, it's so, so I will say this. I think I'm like one of the few children in the world that I could not do that with them. These people, as opposite or they are, as, as they are, they are a united front. Okay. Wow. They are in unison. You will think <laughs> that, oh, no, they're, no, no, no. They come together and they are united. So right. um, it would more so be a, okay, I have to present my case. Like, I'm like, this was like going into the courtroom I need, and I know the points that I have to hit with him. I know the points I have to hit with her. And then I have to somehow <laughs> combine all of this and then get my desired outcome. So that's right. really how it was. So when people are like, oh, you, you're so articulate and you talk so well. I'm like, well, I grew up with two unofficial lawyers from different ends of the spectrum. Wow. So I have yeah. to make it make sense in his worldly mind and then make it make sense in her godly mind. Because, you know, they yeah. think totally different. Girl. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's a track. They do. No, that's because right. Because I told that's my right. daughter that once because she wanted something. And I said, baby, let me tell you what you need to do. Go do a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> put it together really good. Basically. And put your, you know, and she did. He didn't fly for it. <laughs> of course not. She came out and did this, 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 and he was like, no. <laughs> it's just not going to work. Yeah, if it's I'm something like, I don't even remember what you're talking about, but I know I did. She never, no did, it, yeah. she never did that again. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Ever. Yeah, well, sometimes, you know, she did make it to Brown after through it all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Through it yeah. all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's a true story. Man, she, she got her degree, too. So. That's crazy, yeah. man. Yeah. You you guys are great dynamic when you guys be interviewing and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. um, what is, what was the biggest obstacles that you guys faced when y'all was trying to figure out how to make this thing, you know, you know, Symbiotic. Jack, there you go, yeah, <laughs> Jack, you know, what was it? What, what was the but, thing that stuck out? Before they get into that, because you were doing it by yourself first mm -hmm. before you brought your daughter. Yeah, into it. I remember yeah. when you brought. So it was me and producer Ken. Yeah. Right. So you yeah. were watching from the sidelines, mm -hmm. seeing the whole thing, or you were not. That's a whole different thing. So do you want to start with your go challenges ahead. first? No, okay. Ahead. So um, funny thing. So at the time when he first started, I was in Kansas City. So really? yeah, I was in Kansas City before I got. I just got back to LA in 2022. So when I was there, especially because you know we share a face, um, <laughs> It would I would see people and they'd be like, man, y'all seen your dad on, you know, the podcast or something, something. But people, people's perception is different. Like he's been my dad my whole life. Like that's why I brought up the Bushwick picture. I'm like, we've been around, I've been around this element. So for me, it's like watching people finally get to know him mm -hmm. within his vehicle, but I, he's been this to me. So when I was watching, I said, oh, okay, that's cool. My dad been doing his thing, like, yeah. When I got back to LA and then we went to, um, I got invited to Juneteenth at Lamert Park and he went with us. He mm -hmm. was like the bodyguard. <laughs> Thank God though. Yeah. Um, and everybody was stopping and looking and you know, they was like, man, big court, big court. Cause even I started looking, I said, man, are you famous for real? <laughs> like what's going on? You know, yeah. like is everybody now figuring this out? Yeah. So it was different. And then me coming on to the podcast, I was actually very nervous mm -hmm. because one, I've been off of social media for several years, almost mm -hmm. 10 years. So my idea of social media and what it is now is completely different right. in the ecosystem. I mean, you got, you know, my dad, uh, ball, you guys, boss talk, th jumper, thumper, glad, glad. You got all these people <laughs> and I'm like, all these people had beef. It's all these dynamics. And I was just, I told him even on the way to the first one, I was like, dude, I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know what I would bring here. And I don't even, you know, I don't understand. So we were, I feel like it's something that we're still growing into mm -hmm. and we're, you know, we're still working on, but I love it thus far, especially me meeting my top five. Yeah, I can imagine because then like, I remember you're totally, I'm not saying different because I remember he went to the grocery store and I was so happy that our daughter went with him mm -hmm. because people would see us or see him and that day in particular saw him as like, oh my God, can I take a picture with you? Can I take a picture? <laughs> I love your platform, whatever. So just to have the kids there and see that, you know, People love what we do, and mm -hmm. so-called they think we're celebrities, which I cannot get that in my mind. Five that we pictures are, in one day, you know, I killed her. But yeah. My but daughter, I'm, five pictures. I said, hold the camera, they want it. I said, yeah, they want to see me. Uh, you gonna have to get, yeah, uh, hold it. She, <laughs> and it don't even face her. Yeah, yeah. She, she was like, care. she don't care. Uh, you would think that she'd be like, oh, okay, no. I'm registering some stuff yeah. now. We get here at three in the morning. I'm walking in the uh, 7-Eleven just mm -hmm. grabbing something. Me and Money Moses, some guy say, Paul's talk is in L.A. I say, yeah. boy, that's wild. Yeah. Ooh. Man, listen. I'm serious. <laughs> that's, the, that's the reach of social media and what we yeah. do. Because yeah. same thing with me. I say probably six, seven times out of ten I go yeah. somewhere, uh, especially in L.A., but especially back in Kansas City, but mm -hmm. really anywhere in the country and traveling, somebody's going to recognize. Yeah. Even if they don't know my name, they'll say, I know your face. Mm -hmm. I've seen you somewhere. That's you the do part something. I don't really like, too. Yeah, it's a little, I don't like yeah, Or they stare and don't say nothing. Yes, I, yes. I don't like that. Yeah. That's the part. You remember yeah. Albertsons? Yeah. That guy who's staring, yeah. I'm looking at him like, what the hell? Is yeah. He? yeah. You know, he's looking at my wife, and then uh -huh. he's looking at me. And I told him, I said, what, what's up? That's man? a little uncomfortable. He say, yeah. I, I'm sorry. He say, I just, I watch y'all. I never yeah. thought I'd be able yeah. to see y'all. And mind you, I'm not far from the house. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. It really is tripping. <laughs> I, had that, I had that happen in the gym. Dude was staring at me from across the gym. And so I was kind of like, man, what the fuck are you on? <laughs> so my energy kind of shifted. So then when I seen him looking, 
Hell, that made me go toward it. That's you it. Know what that's I mean? it. So I'm walking past him, looking at him. He said, "Hey." He said, "I didn't want you to think that I was staring at you, but I saw you when you with Crip Mac." And I was like, <laughs> "Oh yeah." <laughs> yeah I'm yeah. telling you, I was just, I was, I, I've, I've done it. I've yeah. seen it, and it's crazy because. I really be like, damn, they know me and I don't know them. Sometimes I get to yeah, tripping. I yeah. go in my, my little old, uh -huh. oh, okay, these niggas know me and I don't know them. Yeah. I don't like yeah. this. It's, it's a little disturbing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I don't know I was going to say, but I feel like it's the death of celebrity culture in a lot of ways. And I feel like social media, you're all, you know, your authenticity, your, you know, your couples, your brand influencers, that's the new celebrity now. Yeah. Right. And people, yeah. But you know what? That's a gift and a curse because yeah. in our generation, celebrities were celebrities because like the magic is gone. You yep. know, like we loved magic. Uh, we love Michael Jackson and Prince and those type of people because and they, they were could, unreachable and they could do something that everybody else couldn't do, mm -hmm. you know. But now with social media, it's like the, the, the playing field is level, you know, mm -hmm. so anybody could be uh, uh, considered a celebrity now. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. So the magic's not there no more, like for what we know it to be. Mm -hmm. The thing um, mm -hmm. you um, you got to understand, man, watching y'all show, man, it's just. Mm -hmm. The clean, crisp, the way it looks, man. Y'all, y'all do justice to the culture. Thank you. And I and I love that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Appreciate that. I love mm -hmm. it, man. Because at the end of the day, man, we need that. I was just telling some guys like, if nobody says nothing, if nobody do nothing, then you have no reason to say nothing. Right. We gotta help the people, bro. Right. Right. And I keep telling these people, everybody that, and they be like, oh, I like what you're saying. It's true. Like yeah. we gotta, we gotta. Got to help that, our people, bro. I mean, that's true, bro. That's that's why I created the platform. Yeah, me I too. Set, I set out to humanize the culture and make us look good. Still be authentic, right? But again, I didn't want to exploit us. We have enough of that. We have enough of you know the incendiary shit, of, especially now. The tide has shifted. So now, which uh, you know, shout out to Shannon Sharp. But you know, now everybody's on this you know exposed culture on this tearing each other down. Now it's not even interesting unless you oh, call yourself out in somebody. It's getting crazy. Yeah, but see. Oh, it's getting real radical. Yeah. It, and then, you know, I did a little fun. bit. You know, I was in there. It's with, fun. You know, I'm punching with my little punches. That's right. That's right. I don't know what this slugger was that Shannon Sharp came out with. Man, but but here listen, lately, it's been just like crushing. But see, this is the thing, bro. It's fun. It's all fun and games until you have to log off and live a real life. Mm, you know, because yeah. I know so many content creators, especially out here, they can't go nowhere. You know, and when they do go places, they got to have a bunch of niggas with them or security because they didn't got in front of this camera and just let their mouth run loose and forget that you got to go outside now. Now, you you know, two mountains won't meet, but two men will, you know, and I've had you. I ain't even going to call no names. I've had content creators tell me like, bro, I don't even go nowhere because such and such came on my show. They tripping with me because this person said that. I didn't navigate the streets and make it through the dope gang, make it through gang banging, make it through all taking all these penitentiary chances to crash out and behind some fucking content. Like that shit is goofy. What? But I feel like, but the, one of the reasons why I feel like that would happen mm -hmm. is because some content creators don't know how to not give their opinions when they're interviewing and actually let the the viewer, not the viewer, the, the guest, to say their piece yeah. because how are you going to be mad at me mm -hmm. for another person's opinion I can tell on you my why. show? I can tell you why. Because what happens is just like if you're driving a car, right, and a nigga shooting out of your car, you're still complicit. You didn't shoot. You didn't tell him to shoot, but he still shot out your car. It's as simple really as that. You're complicit in that. So that's where the editing comes in. That's where you take that responsibility of integrity as we share. You know, I've had people come on my show <laughs> and it gets good. It gets comfortable, you yeah. know, and they get to saying some shit. And yeah, in real time, it's entertaining. But then when you go back, you like, uh, I don't know about that. Let me protect you from yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? And so, but people a lot of people don't care man they want the views they living for the views and the attention you mm -hmm. know but at what cost you know yeah i don't need it like that me you neither know? and I, I go everywhere by myself where i got my daughters with me me too most of the time you know what i'm saying i ain't tripping off of nobody I, ain't, I don't fuck with nobody i want uh -uh. nobody fucking with me please don't you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> i'm too old to go to the penitentiary I'm, especially I'm behind not, some bullshit i'm going all the way out though me too <laughs> you know what I'm saying? me too you know <laughs> and over some content you know so and what sh like what Shannon Sharp, he has to be careful because, yes, I understand he's not saying it, and he's very mindful not to agree. You know, because sometimes the mm-hmm and right 
Sometimes it come off like you're a cosign. I done heard him say some stuff to get a little stick. But what I'm saying is, you know, he could potentially be making enemies in places that he don't know and burning bridges in places he don't know. Oh, most definitely. But then you have these YouTube remixers and you got a lot of these (laughs) motherfuckers that don't know what they, they don't have, not him, but I'm saying people that do that type of shit, they don't have a skill set. They don't have Mm -hmm. no talent. They're not able to sit down and create compelling content and have a conversation. So they got to talk shit and smut people. But how sustainable is it? That's not sustainable. You know what I mean? Not you can only do that for so long before people get bored with it or somebody knock your ass off. Mm-hmm. I told, you know, Cat Williams, mm-hmm. <laughs> he went <laughs> off on that damn show. He did. He's the second most viewed interview ever in YouTube history yes. right now. Uh-huh. Did you know that? I no. believe it. No, it is. Oh, he, no, I didn't I know. I mean, in that oh, interview was second most viewed to on Joe YouTube Rogan. to yeah. Joe Rogan. Oh, okay. okay. Joe Rogan, number one, he number Dope. two. Dope. Mm-hmm. 59 million the last time I checked is what Dope. Joe Rogan's is. His is at like 54 million. It's a nice Maybe. little payoff. Nice. Oh, it's a nice payoff, <laughs> but I'm talking about the history of it. Yeah. Now, now you, you you up here with the big league, like right, people right. looking to see who next, you know. Right. I didn't even pay attention to it till I found out, like, dang. And I wouldn't watch Joe Rogan's, and it was an alien type Thing mm-hmm. that made us go crazy. And can you continue you, you watch to do that? the same? Yeah, I go in and out of Joe Rogan. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But one thing I don't know. One thing Jay Z said: Can you keep doing it? That's what you know? sustainability. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what we're saying. You know, in the cat interview, listen. Because I know cat, I was happy to see him in a good, clear mind state. You know, he was lucid. He was very concise with his thoughts. Um, I think he could have kept the the. You know, now some of the shit is funny. You know, yeah. I get it. He's a comedian. So he roasting Cedric with saying the walrus shit. And, <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. I understand yeah. that part. But I think, <laughs> I think, I think Cat has the Cat social. Go. He's, he's good. good. He's one of the best, yes. right? I think, but I think, because he said some, some, some beautiful, poignant shit in there. But I think that it was eclipsed by the, you know, the, the controversy. But yeah. people consume it and they also like it too. They do. You know, because they, they also do. have a choice in the content that they choose to create. So the algorithm will also kind of follow the people. This is so true. So this is a cultural problem that I think is just transcending mm-hmm. into social media. That's and right. Mirror, and it's mirroring back to us right now. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And, and the problem is, is, you know, as a couple of comedians have called out, it's us doing it mainly in the, you know, I'm not mm-hmm. saying we're the only ones to do it, but we tend to use social media to basically take pot shots and, and air each other out. I, and, mm-hmm. and well, let me say this, and this is the thing, because you have a sector of people that will say, well, oh, it's just people saying they truth and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, no, nah. for one, I was taught you don't fight in front of company, you know, and especially when you're talking about personal beefs. It's one thing to call out systems mm-hmm. or social injustice or, you know, like P and Snoop, they're suing Walmart. Okay, we get it. That's attacking a, a systemic problem, an overall bigger problem. But if me and you have a disagreement to get into it, I'm not finna get on my platform and say, yeah, this whole ass nigga, PCO, let me tell you about him, bro. When I got your phone number, what the hell do I do that for? But like, that's crazy. I told Ari Spears on my show, he was like, um, you know, cat, cat stole jokes too and all kinds of stuff, but I was like, Aries. <laughs> You, you should it didn't do nothing what did it do to, to the culture I said but I've heard you talk about people like yeah, yeah. why is it because Cat did it better yeah. is it, it, <laughs> I mean you know what I'm saying why is we, why are we tripping on yeah. Cat Cat yeah. did the same thing everybody no, else right. did to him that's right. when he wrestled that 15 year old boy out yeah. there and <laughs> that boy had him in the head locked down yeah. on that ground yeah. everybody yeah. talked about it yeah. he just was doing his get back but you know, you know <laughs> but, but let me tell you let me tell you the, the other part that I don't like I don't like how Cat, what he did is he blew a dog whistle. And to some degree, he 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 basically lent credence to the notion that, like, especially us in the culture of black people, we tend to think that success is some elusive esoteric phenomena or something. You know what I mean? Like, like you have to sacrifice somebody or you have to do some gay shit. Wear a you dress. Do, yeah, that's that's bullshit. Or, and I think or, it's Kevin a, Hart was a, what nah, they call it? What uh, industry, industry plant. plant. A industry plant. plant. But, I ain't know where you come but, from. But, but see, this is my thing. It's like black people, do we want to see each other successful or not? Because guess what? When we are successful, then we trivialize it. Yeah. We make it sinister. Like, ah, oh, oh, what you true. do? What he do to do that? I can't. And what that is, basically, is people projecting their own shortcomings and bullshit onto your success. But you know why? I think black people as a whole have a very um, 
uncomfortable and difficult relationship with money and prosperity just as a whole because it requires a lot of attributes that I just don't think are really taught in our communities the mm -hmm. way that it is in other communities. Right. Just an observation. Wow. What are those attributes? Well, like discipline, consistency, collaboration, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even just legacy building. Like when you look at, and I'm saying this too, you know, just even being in, you know, different arenas I'm in, like these families that even establish wealth from themselves, they, they take it very seriously, generational to generational, and they go, they're, they're at war to protect it by any, by any means necessary. And that doesn't involve, you know, the outing, the mess, the this, they seem to have a very long-term way of thinking and can foresee a lot to say, hey, you know what, I, there may be a short-term you know, type of uh, payout for this, but in the long term, it'll hurt us as a family, as a unit, as whatever we're doing. And you see this transcends into their business, the way Asians, Hispanics, you know, everybody do business. This is why Tyrese was like, oh, I wish I was Hispanic and everybody's dragging him yeah, for that. Yeah. But if you live in LA, I could see how you could say that. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. they, use, I mean, you meet, Hispanics on a daily basis that still don't even speak English. You know why? Because their community can't sustain them. They mm -hmm. support one another. They gain, they'll gang up against you before they'll gang up on one another. We don't do that as mm -hmm. a collective. Well, one thing I've always um, wondered, because I see a lot of, especially since I've been here in the United States, I didn't see it a lot in Jamaica, of course, mm -hmm. but I see a lot of us who will blame society and say, we don't have this, we don't have that, we did not have this, mm -hmm. but I'm not seeing anybody saying, okay, I know what the problem is from now on for my generation. I can't speak for nobody else, but mm -hmm. for my lineage right here, I'm going to create a change at this moment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to now put this mindset behind. I'm going to now create this for my children so that we can move mm -hmm. forward. They can be well educated. They can have a different mindset. I'm not seeing that, mm -hmm. but I, all I see is like a lot of complaints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm I like, agree. why is that so? And not solutions. It, we are in a stage where we know we have too much information out there not to change. Right, exactly. right. That's how I feel. Exactly. You don't have exactly. to, yes. I you don't have to go to university. You don't you have to go to the library. Yeah. Yeah. You have something called YouTube University. <laughs> no, real shit. Free of that cost. Yes. yes, yes. There's too many people out here giving knowledge and information out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, or you can see somebody in power, somebody who have knowledge yeah. and just go, hey, bro, mm -hmm. tell yeah. me this, 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 yeah. this, this. And mm -hmm. some people some people might, no, you, got, you have to work mm -hmm. for it like yeah. I did. Because yeah. I've met those type of people who will not give you any information. For sure. But you have some people who's like, okay, let me help you. Let me tell you what you need to do. But it's inner work, too, that you got to do. And that's another mm -hmm. thing that I don't understand because we're also in an era where mental health is no longer a stigma. Like going to therapy, getting help, and even just making it a focal point so you can get out and live your best life and collaborate with others and, you know, fortify these relationships. Mm -hmm. Like, so that's... I give this generational leeway. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but what you're saying, to your point, is is the cousin of what I'm saying, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of people just like to make excuses. And what Cat did, he spoke to his base. He did what Trump does. You know what I mean? He spoke directly to his base because, remember, he's he's promoting a tour. You know what I mean? So where my I, and I on social media I watched it, it even with the Mo, Monique thing. You know everybody think it's always a conspiracy, but what I did Monique hear, going on tour too. Right? No, she just joined the tour. <laughs> yes, they need him. to call. They need to call that motherfucker the lack of accountability. Tour. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so Shannon <laughs> Sharp is promoting the tour. Really, yeah. that's what you're really but, saying. But, but, I hope but, he's getting a part of that. No, no, he, no. oh he is when but, it comes to the channel. Me, let me Go say ahead. this. This is my point. Cat Cat <laughs> gave a beautiful interview. You know. But what I didn't hear was accountability. Mm -hmm. What I didn't hear was, okay, you know what? I was in a position to be where Kevin Hart was, which he was. He was supposed right. to be that. Hey, look, I was going through some, some things. And, you know, I had to deal with some personal things. I, I, can, I can see how my reputation got a little damaged in that. And I see how I was a little sidelined. But I'm back, okay? It was never that. It was always everybody else. I've never done a drug. Everybody else. And he may, maybe he has <laughs> it. Maybe you got he questions. Has it. But even <laughs> if it was even I don't know. Even if it was mental though, to just mm -hmm. go ahead and say, hey, I was going through some things, right? Same thing with Monique. I heard everybody else, but I never heard, you know what? And hey, maybe I am difficult. Maybe I do have a poor attitude sometimes. You know, but I don't believe I should have got that. Pull me to the side. Help me get my shit together. Yeah. Help me get yeah. it right if I need to get it right. You never hear that part. So people never, never talk about themselves. They don't look no. in the mirror. No. Mm -hmm. And this is what most people like to do. This is why it resonates. Because most people are like, yeah, that's why I get the job. 
that nigga at the job hating on me. That's what I'm talking about. My supervisor don't want to see me win. Yeah, them niggas don't. They don't so share what my I shit. Came late. Yeah, you know so what I'm saying. Or rapper, you yeah, know, yeah. See, niggas ain't sharing my yeah. shit. Everybody hating on me. Don't nobody yeah. want to put me on. Yeah. It's, hey, that's what it is. One, one thing I do want to say, man, is you know you went over the hundred thousand mark, and I you did. and when you did it, you kept pulling. I appreciate you ought to that. be at about a hundred, almost one hundred and ten thousand by I think now. So yeah, I'm, I'm watching. You. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I just want you to know. Hey, shout out to you because you the one that told me how to do the check. Did and you go get, get it? The you went I did. Ah, I did. Yeah. And that was information uh, you shared with oh, me. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because I, I one day I seen somebody else with a check. I said, "What they doing? They got a check. What's the check about?" Remember, I started. Looking around and and, and yeah. I ran into that information. And let me and uh, and bouncing off of that uh, a little bit. Let me let me give you your flowers and your props because see this is what we need to do and what he demonstrates. You know is he shared information with me. You For know, sure. And I've tried. I hope. I, oh, you I have shared information with me you know, too. But that's what's in, that's what's important. He's definitely giving me helpful information and connections. And a lot of times in our culture, we don't do we that. We don't do that. We want to hoard it. We want to be the only one yeah. with the inroads and the resource and the information. So I applaud you and I respect no, you. No, man, know, thank much you. Much love for that. And you know what? You know, when you say in our culture, but I found it because when we first started um, a clothing store, mm-hmm. and I remember going down to the fashion district in the market, whatever, and was looking at some different stuff. Uh, it was someone of a different ethnicity, mm-hmm. and I asked, and she, the attitude I got was n- like none other. So I'm like, it's not only an or, mm-hmm. you know, race that does mm-hmm. that. They do it in all these different races. No, that's too. true, but you know, it's a little more fucked up. When, when your own people <laughs> don't your do own it. People. I expect them to be on some yeah, fuck shit, right. but if you call yourself my brother and yeah. we in the same arena right. and you still, you know, we talked about oh, it. Yeah, so we man, know we, a lot we, of people in this space that, you know, just want it all to themselves because they usually, mm-hmm. it stems from them feeling some type of threat. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's enough for everybody. Yeah, it's very know? much enough for everybody, and everybody's just getting crumbs when it comes down to our yep. constituencies. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So at the end of the yeah. day, we're running around here fighting over crumbs That's while right. they're taking big gobbles of bread. Yeah, no. and, and what you just said is that's what that's my point. So you have us, you have us in the culture, you know, that's that's tearing each other down, both on the big level and small level for crumbs. That's it. And, for and you we're, for, we're, for a couple thousand dollars. It, uh, it, it's money. not worth it, bro. Mm-hmm. Like like not for our integrity and not for the, nah. what we stood for, what we yeah. stand for before YouTube. Mm-hmm. So I'm just the same guy amplified, I hope, that's in right. a good way that's right. to help my people. That's, that's what I'm here for. And it's so funny that in, you know, when you have a brick and mortar, you can see, okay, I'm selling this. I don't want this person next door to me to sell this. Mm-hmm. But you're on a big worldwide web that mm-hmm. we're touching people in Africa and Australia mm-hmm. and whatever. Like, mm-hmm. why? And right. you can be anywhere. That's right. Scarcity. Scarcity yeah. mindset. Yeah. Yeah. It is yeah. finest. Well, I'm telling you now, um, I'm not going to let up. Yeah, I'm gonna drop these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all drop. Man, y'all drop. That's why when you asked me, had you seen the Gary Spear? I'm like, fuck, I'm about 50 interviews. Right? I can't keep up. No, we both keep working, up. man. And I think it's because we don't we don't slow down. We just yeah. keep we just keep working, man. The opportunity presents itself when we go at it. Yeah, I think that just come from that come from that street mentality That's that right. you taught your kids from exactly. a very young age. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I did. I'm being yeah. real. That's where it come from. Like. I just yeah. know if I drop the most, if I got the most and I got it and I'm distributing it at its highest yeah. level, I'm front some <laughs> yeah. of it over here. That's right. I know already that's I'm right. going to win. It's the same thing. You got that shit that's going to come back. Oh, it's going to, for gonna sure. I'm, and it's all organic, straight <laughs> yeah. drop. That's right. You straight know? drop. Straight <laughs> drop. You got that shit that's going to melt away. No, no, no. Mine ain't got no all base away. or none of that. It's straight <laughs> drop. Straight <laughs> yellow. So yeah. Can we I, keep this? <laughs> I, and you know, the thing about it is I raised her. It's so funny because having her at 16, you know, I raised her. I used to laugh and say I raised her like my oldest son. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, and I, I exposed <laughs> her to a lot, you know, streetwise. You know what I mean? Wow. Like She grew up on gangster rap. She grew oh, yeah. up in the studio. She grew up around guns and other illicit shit. You know what I mean? No, that's a part and, of it. And it's so funny because my other two kids, her siblings, but none the wiser. I got to introduce them to their original <laughs> parents. And I'm like, see, y'all know y'all got... Courtney and Yomi, I got core dog. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. Right. I got the right. KC right. Chief. Uh-huh. Right. It's a whole different court, Courtney, you know. One of her memories she told me one time, this is why I knew, I said, oh shit, I'm ghetto as shit. <laughs> when she told me, it wasn't a fishing story. Like, oh daddy, I remember one time you took me fishing, you took me to the daddy daughter dance. She was like, 
I remember that time we was in your cutlass, your blue cutlass, and you let me sit on your lap, and I was playing with the switches, and you had that gun under your leg. Yeah. That silver oh, gun. It's crazy. And I was just kind of like, <laughs> these are your I core doing? memories. Yeah, yeah. exactly. 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 Core what was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> let me change switch gears. Which, on hold on. Which, let me just say this. Which. All in all, with all that, which is what makes me super proud of the woman she's become. Oh man, you know, what through I mean? it all, through it all, man, yeah, because yeah, through it all, because you know, fuck, if she listened to me, she probably be in some <laughs> women's prison somewhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so thank God for her mother's influence. You know, so I got to. But say y'all that. did amazing because being so young. Because normally, even kids nowadays who have children young mm -hmm. is usually the grandparents raising these kids, yeah. not the mom and dad. Mm -hmm. Y'all took it upon so yourself. So y'all took it upon yourself. Yeah. We had. Support ahead. from uh, grandparents too. Mm -hmm. You know, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law definitely, especitially uh, in the beginning stages, yeah. we definitely had support. Y'all didn't them. know what y'all was doing. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I was 16, her mom was 18, right? Well, yes. I, yeah, so. I just, I really, really, um, I wanted to ask y'all, because we got, we, we mm -hmm. got to ask you this, like, what was your hardest interview dealing with, with with the guests that come on? Don't say no names. Just say, <laughs> just tell, just kind of wink at me. Like, what, <laughs> which one of what? Like, I know, I or what, know, you right? know, or what? What did they do? Why it was hard? What made it different? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good way? To put it? That's a good way. What made way. it different? So, we had so okay. So I will say we. I have been blessed enough when I first came on. The majority, I would say 99% of the people that I've interviewed have been gracious. Like, okay. I messed up my top five. It was exactly how I pictured it going. We had one particular interview that <laughs> I really had to remind myself that it is holding court and not rapping with Rachel. Because I wanted <laughs> to check the situation so hard in a way that only I could. And I, and I wanted, you know, because it's still a little bit different. Like, he's the face. Like, it's my dad. So, I feel like I can get at you. But anyway, I can't. He don't have to. But, you know, once again, like I just said, I got to practice what I preach. I'm like, OK, we're we're in an industry. This is, you know, in me and my mind, I'm like, man, I'm in tech. I don't have to deal with this. I don't yeah. care who you are. Yeah. And all I had to do was say the word. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. Mean, I was looking. There's yeah. literally a picture. My sister yeah. actually got it on the behind uh -huh. the scenes. It was my mama's <laughs> screenshot where my I, I mean, I just my horns was out. So I'm not going to say who, but it was just a very distasteful experience wow. was, and I was very celebrity. and I yeah, was yeah, very yeah. disappointed mm -hmm. because given the the mm -hmm. persona that this person has you would think that it would have went completely differently especially being an LA brand and then it's we're family like you're not coming to a pot it's my dad it's me and my sister my brother's there man don't that, that ticks me off mm -hmm. like because so, I know how intimate we're giving yep. you yes. I really 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 I agree with you 100% yes. I, I hate to cut you in no cut. but when you have your kids and your mm -hmm. family and you embrace somebody yep. You expect it to be something that's exactly. lovely. And you mm -hmm. see this. Exactly. It's a respect thing it, for family. Think, mm -hmm. But if it's not, it, it, it rubs you the wrong way. Yes. You would think. <laughs> and, and it was really, you know, all it mm -hmm. took is for me to just give the go ahead. Because once I was going to go, she was going to go. Because I kept looking. I'm yeah. like, man, I'm not getting yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and well, I, told, I gave the signal. Been, <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it was on the tip of my tongue. Like, look here, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as soon as I would have said that, it would have been it up. Was going. It would have been it up. It was going. So, well, know? I just thank God for y'all's 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 composure. The yeah. way y'all held y'all's composure. Yeah, I don't sure. know the situation, but I do know there I've had those instances. Yeah. So I get it. And the thing I gotta commend is the fact mm -hmm. that you were able to control mm -hmm. the matter mm -hmm. and make it a great show. We don't even know which one it was. No, you know which one it was. No, I don't you know. Would never know. <laughs> no, 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 you know, no. We talk, I talk, I we talk you, a lot. We talk. But <laughs> you, I was trying to do my thing, man. You <laughs> just don't, 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 don't let, let me be Shannon <laughs> Sharp okay. or nothing like that. You know, I don't want to be like Shannon and get pulled in a little bit. Now, he's got a lot going on. We ain't no name, though. Yeah, I know, but still. We still keep it a professional. No, love the fact that, you know, but how I look at it is that everything happens for a reason. That is my favorite mm -hmm. quote. Mm -hmm. Whether it's for you to be stronger, because mm -hmm. you're going to get, you might get that type of interview again, so you know yep. exactly how to treat it next mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Look at it and be like, okay, what could I have done differently to, you know, blah, blah, blah. Because mm -hmm. you're going to get it again, because you're going to keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or maybe that person looked back on their interview and be like, man, I need to give them a call and say, you know what, I'm sorry, you know, this, 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 you would think, blah, 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 right? You would think, whatever. But, but one thing that life has taught me is rotten fruit will fall on its own. So <laughs> I've watched this person go through struggles, just not even just a yeah. few weeks after, you know, uh, <laughs> gracing our show, yeah. or I should say polluting our show. 
<laughs> man. <laughs> but mm. but but we handled it good and and especially you know her because I know she's me you know she right. she's just a female version of me and so um you know I, I love how she's handling herself on the show um and she's still growing into that mm -hmm. position she didn't even want to be on camera <laughs> neither one of my co-stars wanted to, they be, didn't on want to be on camera that's yeah. good. That's both good. Both you there them for me. yeah both of them, i didn't want to be sitting on there i was hoodwinked yeah. i was hoodwinked no he was like yeah you can just come and pull up and just see how you like it just see what's going on and i was like I'm just gonna see. And I kept asking too. I said, You just want me to see. So I was putting on a little bit of makeup. I was like, Well, I don't know, just in case. Man, I get here. Yeah, uh, Ken, give her a mic, pull a mic up. Would you want like, <laughs> Wait, I was like, What? I yeah. was sweating. You'd have thought what I was, was putting on your first show. What said, was your first show? I'm gonna interview you. Then I was like, yes. Go over there. We're gonna interview I you. I was like, What? Like, what? <laughs> wow. Um, the, uh, what was your first show? The first interview Court was, uh, I think it was, uh, it was Ayatollah, yeah. Mar, and then it was, it was Mar? Uh, yeah. yeah. And that was her first. That's that was my, my first. Melvin. Melvin. Oh, Melvin. Oh, Melvin. Oh, oh, shout out to oh, 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 Scott. Shout out to Melvin. That's hard right <laughs> so there. You were, so you were quiet <laughs> in the first like, interview. You didn't miss out. Man, I had on my Dragon Ball Z shirt, my trench coat. I'm just looking around. I'm peeping the scene. I'm like, okay, so do I like hop in? Do I, what questions do I ask? And then I'm like, but then I was also interested because I'm like, like, yeah. man, this is very intriguing. So those so, yeah. guys got some stories yeah. after stories. Yeah, yeah. I've interviewed them a lot of times. I'm gonna continue to interview them. <laughs> they are. Hey, they, shout out to Skull. We were just kicking. <laughs> we were just kicking it at. I heard about Ricky it. Ross. He told me. Yeah, for yeah. like Ricky Ross's uh, party and uh, all white to party. Ayatollah. Right? Ayatollah yeah. was there in a white. Uh, trench mink <laughs> had on some uh, uh, red suit. You know, some wow. red shoes. Yes, he you know, he wow. was still power, he was still pyroed out. You know, <laughs> but yeah, he was in there. Man, shout out to them guys. Them guys yeah. showed me a lot of love, yeah. man. So, what made you fall in love with it, or have you fallen in love with it? So, <laughs> so I have an interesting relationship with just publicity. So, I'm starting to what I have to do is not think about the cameras. Right. I have to just go into it and think about it. Like it's just me and my dad. We chilling. It's music. This is kind of how we been anyway and then I always just enjoy it as a fan like I'm a fan first I don't care about the mess the beef the inner anything I just want to know about you your work your creativity what you're doing and getting to know you know the guests on that level and me being in that position like I was like man I'm rapping with crazy bone yeah. <laughs> was that your favorite moment oh, oh yeah oh, I'm fan like I was fan five. out too I, I get was it. In, oh my god I get it that's it yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah. we here I was like how did I get here I was like yeah it's like I'm I've been waiting for this. It's a rush, life. right? It's a rush. Yeah, yeah. When we had Crazy Bone on oh, and Lazy. Lazy. She had on oh, her, her oh, Bone Thugs man, attire. Like, like. And when, when we rapped with Crazy, because I raised her on Bone Thugs. Yeah, too. I was not ready. You know, and we rapped Heated Heavy. She yes. was right there. She was so it. amped up. <laughs> That's hard, man. That's hard. It was so cool. So, no, I, I love that aspect and just, you know, going through this process, seeing the growth of it, you know, seeing also, too, which... I love the back, the behind the scenes, which is seeing my dad grow into this role and then still getting bigger and pivoting even more. And then me being able to participate in that and really bring value to that, that's my favorite aspect. Do you want to have a separate show where you're still going to do this, but mm -hmm. one for yourself where you do something on that's your own? That's a good question. So we, there's some talking. So it, if I did have a show, obviously he would produce it, but right. it would be more in the arena of tech and entrepreneurship. That's where. That's that's nice. That's, that's your passion. Yeah, yeah, that's her lane. And I believe mm -hmm. you would probably be kind of. <clears throat> that would be a thing that that separates you from most uh, people that look like us. Exactly. <laughs> you Especially don't as see a black that woman. a lot. No, you don't. Especially as a black. You don't woman. see that yeah. a lot, and then you know <clears throat> it would help a lot of people. You know, yes. that's, that's how I get people. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'd have got yeah. you over there and gave you. <laughs> I'd have told you to been over there with that mic. I'd have said, you know what? People need to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, you need to. You could help a lot of people. That's all. Yeah. And what's crazy is what she's saying. Just kind of uh, another part to that. Like she's saying she's bringing value. Man, what's crazy? And as we were talking about, it's a humbling experience when. You know, I'm having to listen to her in spaces, you know, it's yeah, like I'm getting yeah. older and it's like it's a beautiful thing and it's a natural progression. But I'm like, damn, she's telling me what to do. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? <laughs> and I'm, and then she's telling me what to do because I don't know. That's all. Right. And I'm having to defer to her and ask for her guidance and her, you know, and, and her suggestion and advice in arenas that I'm not, you know, versed in. That's her world. Wow. You know, so uh, that's been different 
you know, I love it, but I was like, damn, this is how it's going to be when we old. You know what I'm saying? She oh, already yeah. telling us what to do. At least she's there. I mean? She doing the same yeah. thing with her mama, though. At least she's there. She got her mama. I would be so happy. I told you that. She getting her mama speaking engagements and shit. I'm like... It's like she didn't became management almost. I was a family you know what manager, what I mean? unofficially. She almost didn't became management. But that's management. good, though. I, I yeah. like that. So she's telling me, yeah, Dad, so we need to do this, and you need to do this, and you know you need to do this, and I'm like, uh, okay. she's involved. Right. That's the good right. part. That's a great part. I want to say, hold on. I'm <laughs> jealous of you. I really shouldn't be this interview because I get jealous. Because <laughs> my kids is not trying to He's hear gonna that. He's going to go give her a speech. He's going to call her in I'm going to send her this like, interview. Hey. It's easy now. Like, I told you I was competing with somebody. Here's the, this is what's going on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We gotta step our game up. These guys are serious. She don't be like, <laughs> she don't whatever. even care. Whatever, dude. Yeah, but you gotta, you you know, you gotta allow them to do their passion. Oh, and, for and sure. Just so happened, her passion aligns with Listen, what we're what doing. You know, because she got so many great things going on, and I'm really fortunate that she shares her her resources, and that's uh -huh. we've done that. You <laughs> I know, love she it. she literally has shared her <laughs> resource. You know, and she saw potential in me along with the team that she's brought. You know what I mean? But so, I love it. Yeah, I, I love it. But then I know somebody uh, else might not even go for it. They might be out of here uh, in a minute. <laughs> I don't know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I, I got my the, youngest daughter. I, I'll hold the camera for a minute, but uh, yeah, I got big dreams and aspirations. No, no, but no, let me tell you, that's this is what she does. She holds the camera. She's with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, she, she likes it. She wants to be a DP and a lighting person for oh, movies. Oh, well, wait, we'll so see. she, she, so she, she so all all Why? Yes. Why did you bring yeah. this guy yeah. to so the show? So my youngest daughter <laughs> is that's that's makeup. And that's mm -hmm. that's camera work and lighting. That's and her. And don't forget your middle, bro. who wants to be the actor. And my middle and my son is he's an actor. He, he like that. Yeah. So he's just he's so actor. lucky he's all lucky. around. That's what I'm saying. It, it won't happen again. You can't come back on there with your daughter. You come back by yourself next time. We're gonna do a holding court. Me and big court. You know. No, I love it, man. We need more people like you. Yeah. We need more people like y'all. Your family. Mm -hmm. You know that that. That can see. We need to see this. Keep it in the family. No, we need to see this. And, and we need me, to see this. And I love, I love how my daughter represents young black women too. You know what I mean? The yeah, fact that she know. is uh, so intelligent and articulate sure. and well versed. I'm very. And impressed. she's not a hot girl. You mm -mm. know, she ain't. You know the the best. Let you tell it, nigga. Well, you know I mean. No, no. Let you tell it. Not that girl to you, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you mess around and just watch what you watching on that Instagram. I mean, she's still a young woman. You know what I mean? But like, nah, I'm like hot girl. I ain't got to worry about me sitting up and coming across my daughter twerking and shit. Like, what the fuck? That's not her thing. That's not her thing. So she's not that. You know what I mean? She's an intelligent. Young entrepreneur, That's you know, dope. and she's in an arena that it's not a lot of her, you know. It's I mean? male dominated. It's male dominated, White you know, dominated. and she and she holds court. She handles her business That's too, hard. you know. That's she's hard. She, let, talk about your race. Oh talk about God. your shit. Let me, <laughs> don't let me yeah. brag. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know Pop what I'm Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Damn. <laughs> they got a little shake and everything, Shamari. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> No, so no, I'm excited. And that's the part of um, where we are collabing. So, well, this kind of involves you too. So I have an e-commerce marketplace platform okay. that is essentially, we're catering to small to medium-sized businesses. And the reason why this is so important is because small to medium-sized businesses are directly correlated with the middle class that is completely, almost obsolete. Wow. You know, so it is important that we help them transition into e-commerce and also give them, you know, the tools and access that they wouldn't have otherwise had. So part of this, because Amazon, thank God, has already paved the way, we have a streaming feature that will be incorporated, which will be powered by my mm -hmm. father here. Yep, that's good. And I will be able to just, we, we can help each other. We have a shared demographic. Um, I have, you know, the teams, the tech, the consulting. I have the, you know, I understand how to raise capital. A uh, shout out to the Founders Collective. But yes, I just secured my $5 million pre-seed raise wow. with Net Capital. So I'm excited about congratulations. that. Wow, Thank congratulations. Congratulations, man. Thank you. That's big ups. That starts this quarter so um yeah and then i get to you know produce uh, content and get into production i get to provide opportunities uh, for my siblings and be there with them so that's what i love i just love being able to be the resource because i really feel and i've always felt this way i feel like if i dream big enough it can hold everybody else's dream wow and that's just what i'm about wow 
And that's great. That's beautiful. Man. That's beautiful, mm -hmm. man. Like I said, kudos to you for figuring it out. Thank you. A lot mm -hmm. of times people don't even figure out what they want to do. They be mm -hmm. running in limbo for years. I mean, 30, and that's 40, the problem. Blah, blah, blah. That's not what I said. Right now, I she didn't, listen, she didn't bend you all, all the way over the zip line. Right. Almost right. Right. Just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> what about, I mean, she didn't bartended. She man, didn't. She didn't. What haven't uh, I done? Clothing line. Accountant. Accounting. Yeah. Bridal, maternity. What is the blood test shit? Oh, yeah. I started off in yeah. government. Yeah. No, I started off. I still my company. So I started off doing government contract, and I was doing drug testing drug and DNA testing, testing yeah. for mm -hmm. uh, the Department of Transportation, don't, Missouri. Did God work it out though? Do you? Oh, it, yeah. Can you look back at your life and be like, man, Every I time. see why He did that. He yes. connected the dot here, and if I hadn't mm -hmm. did that, I wouldn't right. do this. All That's the it. way God works. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That's my intel. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I'm like, hey, <laughs> listen, man. Court, man, you did a great job, man. I see the family, man. man. Thank you for I, even blessing I, I us to come that. on the show yeah, like this. You. Is, but this this is her mom, too. A lot of this is her mom. You it know, she, say, she has my hard. personality, yeah. and, but but this is the spirit of her mom. Wow. Know? Thank y'all for coming on the show. How can people get a hold of y'all uh, if they're looking to reach um, out? So listen, real quick, mm -hmm. I got to do a shameless drop. You know? Okay. <laughs> so, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm also, as she said, getting into the streaming part of it. I mean, you talked about yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. So shout out to Big Steel from Gangster Chronicles. He, I just met him yesterday. Yeah, he, he told you that. Yeah, yeah, he, okay, did. That's he, did. he did. And uh, Willie D of the Ghetto Boys. That, hey, that's Texas, so you know he can't do Already. no wrong. Already. Willie D can't do no read wrong. These Nikes. So, yeah, read these Nikes. Yeah, read these Nikes. Right. She so, know our stuff. Oh, that's right. You need to take it from this book. She is really going in. Go ahead. So uh, Willie D, uh, Big Steel from Gangster Chronicles, and myself, we didn't came together like Voltron. And we are uh, starting a network called Code TV. Okay. You know, so we picking up where Tubi has left off. That's in nice. terms of we, we're, we're supporting black content creators. Wow. And it's all inclusive. It's okay. not just about black, but all uh, displaced content creators because Tubi is, you know, they've kind of moved the goalposts. If and it's sure. a lot of displaced, um, you know, content creators. So uh, we got that cracking. We got that coming. I'm also starting an uh, exclusive community. Okay. Uh, which is an offset of uh, Hold a Court. I'm going to let my daughter explain that one. Yes. Yeah, okay. So my father, really quick, he is now venturing into his personal branding and pretty much all of the things that people have been asking him, you know, his mental, the mentorship, you know, the way he takes care of his body, his lifestyle, mind, money, motivate, um, the legacy builders will be his personal um, wow, Arsenal, different, completely different guests, completely different lineup. So we are excited about that. The link is in the YouTube description. Last, I'm taking a page from your book. <laughs> Go. <laughs> will you guys? So this will be on Holding Court's pages. No, no, it it will be it's uh, a private community. It, it's a okay. private community, mm -hmm. and and so what it'll be, it'll it'll be um, exclusive content. Mm -hmm. So it'll be my workouts, my diet plan. Where will you be able to see it? Uh, where, where so it? it will be on a different platform. We're thinking school. So we will provide the links as we progress. We just did a live today mm -hmm. and we're, you know, we're getting some intel as far as what people want to see from him. So, but the private community will be launching here. I would say by March, no later than mid-March. Okay. Yeah. That's and great. so this is where I would have like your Robert Smiths, your yeah. Cardones, your yeah. Magic Johnsons. Mm -hmm. And it's a different conversation. So it's holding court is entertainment. This is entertainment, but it's more my money motivated. Yeah, my yes. money motivated. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. and then we'll be offering different programs for business funding, mm -hmm. different resources will also be available in this community. So man. we got that. And she's helping me for with the, that. for the brothers, <laughs> for the bros, man, and for the sisters, man. Yeah. For the for Figuring it out, family, man. That's what it's all about. So I'm gonna be looking for everything you just said. Yeah. I'm gonna want to know. I, it, you know, I'm where's it at? You know, what I'm saying yeah. I'm, I'm on the oh, phone. For sure. I'm looking. I'm uh, still. You know, I got his number hey, now. Listen, he we, called me today. <laughs> Say, what's going on with that? And, you know, yeah. I'm gonna get real into y'all business. We got, we, we got a, we got a, we got experts. You know, mm -hmm. on the team. We That's have a real I brought him in from team. the tech arena. From the tech really? arena. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it's so going down. It's, it's going, going down. down. And with the cold TV, I think that's gonna be real big for me, Willie D and Steel. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, but going back to what you said, you know, people can follow me on Instagram. Okay. I am big hey, court. it back. He and know also, I podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and also. So follow, uh, like, subscribe, uh, Holding Court Podcast on Revolt TV and on YouTube. As and well. I'm Rachel Renee. Hey, <laughs> that's I'm coming it. in here. I got a slide. Boom. In here. Rachel, I'm Rachel Renee. 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 You can find me on all platforms. I am Rachel R C H L underscore Renee A E missing. Man, Rachel make Renee. sure you, make sure you guys uh, hey get at these clips. The next clips will be of Big Court.
Rachel Renee, make sure y'all watch the next clips that's coming up. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Man. Man.